Hi everybody, I'm Jim, and in this video we'll walk you through the installation process for a Dreamline Unidor Toulon shower door. Today we're installing the 58 to 58 and a half inch version of the Toulon. Here are some important facts about this model. The Unidor Toulon is a frameless swing shower door. It consists of a fixed stationary glass panel and a hinged door panel. The door is reversible, and each glass panel can be oriented on either side depending on your layout. Unidor Toulon glass to wall hinges require solid wood reinforcement. That is, all four hinge screws on each hinge must be installed into solid wood backing in the wall. Do not use anchors or toggle bolts. Let's review a few key points before we unpack the door and start the installation. This model allows for up to half an inch of adjustment on the inline panel side only for out of plumb wall conditions using the anodized aluminum U-channel. Verify that your walls do not require more than half an inch of out of plumb adjustment before proceeding. Your threshold must be level and pitched slightly inward. Some shower enclosures include a hollow space between the outer surface and the wall, preventing the proper installation of this door. Be sure the surfaces are solid and will be able to support the weight of the door. Irregular or uneven surfaces, rounded radius bottom corners, or the improper angle of sidewalls can result in serious problems for your installation. If you run into any issues during these steps, please contact our customer support team by phone or live chat for assistance. Please review the following safety reminders before we begin the installation of the Unidor Toulon Shower Door by Dreamline. Once you decide the Unidor Toulon can be successfully installed in the opening, remove and inspect all parts, including the glass, from the box or boxes, and thoroughly examine the manual for the version ordered. Discard any other manuals. Unwrap and visually inspect the glass. Leave the protective corners on until it is necessary to remove them. Do not install damaged glass. Be sure you have all the tools needed for installation. Please note that the glass-to-wall hinges are offset by 5 degrees by design and do not require adjustment. Unidor Toulon glass-to-wall hinges require solid wood reinforcement. That is, all four hinge screws on each hinge must go into wood backing in the wall. A ClearMax sticker indicates a treated side of the glass. Make sure that side faces the inside of the shower and do not remove the stickers until the glass is installed. The door glass can be cartwheeled or turned upside down to reverse the installation and the panel glass can be moved to either side. The Toulon pattern on the glass must face the outside of the shower and the panel glass does have a top and a bottom. Decide which wall of the shower the door will be installed on and check that wall for plumb. If the wall is more than a quarter inch out of plumb, the installation cannot proceed. The position of the shower controls and shower head may also help determine door placement. The opposite wall, where the inline panel will be installed, must not be more than half an inch out of plumb. Open both hinges and remove the two thinner gaskets. The hinges get installed squarely on the door glass centered in the cutout with the hinge bolts facing inside the shower. Use one gasket on either side of the glass. As you install the hinges, be sure the glass edge is flush with the inside edge of both hinges and that the hinges are centered in the cutouts. Use the thicker 2mm gaskets on either side of the glass. A bit of stickum between the gasket and the hinge will keep the gaskets from shifting. To prevent glass slippage, cut quarter inch squares from the 1mm gaskets and use them to fill any gaps between the hinge body and the glass cutout. Apply a medium strength thread lock, which is not included, to the hinge screws and secure them as tightly as possible using a screw gun and a four millimeter hex bit. Use medium to high torque. Don't worry about cracking or breaking the glass when tightening the hinges. Tempered glass can withstand more than 10,000 pounds of pressure applied to the face of the glass. Snap in the decorative caps on the hinge screws. Leave the 5 8 inch shims on the bottom of the door glass and place it in the opening, pressing the hinge plates firmly against the wall. 
The shims on the top of the glass can now be removed. Level and plumb the door glass and keep it in that position while marking the hinge holes for drilling. Here's a tip to check the height of the door glass. Set the strike vinyl on the threshold next to the handle side of the door glass. They should be exactly the same height. Set the door aside and use a quarter inch bit to drill up to the stud. Use a 1 8 inch bit to pilot the stud. Do not use anchors, molly bolts, or toggle bolts. Cover the hinge plates with tape and use an extension bit holder to avoid scratching the hinges. Place the door glass back on the threshold and attach the hinges to the wall using the flathead countersunk screws. Use low torque and steady pressure to avoid stripping the screw heads. Check the door glass for level and plumb. If adjustment is needed, PVC hinge spacers can be placed behind one of the hinge plates to adjust the door to level and plumb. Simply remove the screws from the top or bottom hinge plate and place spacers behind it to bring the door to level. Open the door and remove the plastic shims from underneath. Slide the bottom U-channel under the door glass and use a square to bring the door to 90 degrees from the wall, parallel to the front edge of the threshold. Slide the U-channel to the far wall and mark the outside edge of the U-channel on the threshold. Measure out 3 16 of an inch from the vertical edge of the door glass and mark the bottom U-channel. Make sure the top of the panel glass is at the top. The pattern on the glass is thicker at the bottom than the top. The ClearMax sticker should also face the inside of the shower with the pattern on the outside of the glass. Place a mark at the top of the panel glass half an inch from the outside edge. This indicates the point of maximum adjustment for the panel glass in the vertical U-channel. Use a helper to place the vertical channel on the panel glass. Use a glass suction cup to carefully place the panel glass in the bottom U-channel. Be extra careful to avoid any glass-to-glass -glass contact between the panel and the door glass, which could result in glass failure. The vertical U-channel sits on top of the bottom U-channel. Hold the U-channels in place and adjust the panel glass until it meets the mark made earlier on the bottom U-channel, 3 16 of an inch from the door glass. The patterns on the door and the panel should line up. If not, check that the panel glass is right side up and that the door glass is at the right height. The maximum adjustment for shifting the panel glass out of that vertical U-channel is half an inch. Do not move the panel glass out past the mark made earlier on the glass. Be sure the tops of the panel and the door are evenly aligned. Mark the vertical U-channel at the top edge of the glass to get the cut line. Cut both U-channels at the marks made and file off any burrs. Use a helper to place the vertical channel on the panel glass. Use a glass suction cup to carefully place the panel glass in the bottom U-channel. Temporarily install the strike vinyl on the panel glass above the bottom U-channel with the fin on the inside. It will be notched and moved down around the bottom U-channel later. Carefully close the door against the strike vinyl. Line the panel glass up so the strike vinyl meets the door glass evenly from top to bottom. The patterns should be aligned. Hold it in that position and mark the outside edge of the vertical wall profile. It is more important that there is a tight seal between the door and the vinyl than for the panel glass to be perfectly plumb. Placing tape on the glass where the panel glass meets the U-channel will help with glass placement during the final installation of the panel glass. Carefully remove the panel glass, remove the U-channels, and safely set the panel aside. For the shower model, place both U-channels on the marks made earlier and mark the holes for drilling. Check the drilling instruction in the manual for the correct bit sizes. If a stud is present, drill 3 16 inch holes up to the stud only and pilot the stud using a 1 8 inch bit. If no stud is present, drill a 5 16 inch hole and install wall anchors. Drill 1 8 inch holes for a fiberglass base. For a composite base, drill 5 16 inch holes and install wall anchors. 
Apply silicone to the backs of both U-channels and use the included countersunk screws to secure them to the wall and to the threshold. Make sure the screws are fully countersunk in the U-channels. Insert the PVC spacer strips as needed and apply a half inch bead of silicone in both U-channels. Place the panel glass back into the U-channels using the tape placed earlier to line the panel up with the vertical U-channel. It should also be flush with the edge of the bottom U-channel. Next, reinstall the strike vinyl, marking and notching it by trimming just the sides to fit around the bottom U-channel. Install the sweep vinyl, deflector strip facing the inside of the shower, across the entire bottom of the door, pushing it up onto the glass on the hinge side first, then working it across the rest of the door. From inside the shower, close the door and mark the sweep where it meets the strike vinyl. Notch just the inner aspect of the sweep so it fits neatly around the strike vinyl for a tighter seal. Cut the hinge vinyls to size according to the manual and notch them to fit in behind the hinge bodies. Notch the bottom hinge vinyl to fit behind the bottom hinge and also to fit around the sweep at the bottom of the door. Install the handle on the door glass, large knob on top, using gaskets on both sides of the glass. Apply a good quality, mildew-resistant clear silicone to the entire interior perimeter of the panel glass. A dab of silicone at the open ends of the U-channels is also advised. Allow 24 hours for the silicone to cure before the shower is used. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're looking for a professional to install your newly purchased Dreamline shower door, we'd like to encourage you to take advantage of our Dreamline Certified Installer Network. Head over to dreamlineshowers.com and click Find an Installer. Search by location to find a list of certified installers closest to you. And for any additional questions, Dreamline customer support is happy to help. As always, Dreamline is your source for the ultimate shower door experience.